Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code. Well, uh, so far we didn't talk about poly modeling just yet, and that is something that you would probably be doing a lot, right? So that's what we're going to be talking about. And whenever you get started in a new program, uh, probably the first things you want to do is figure out how to move, scale, rotate, how to extrude and how to bevel, right? These are things that you do all the time and that's a good way to get started. And of course, we're gonna cover navigation as well in case you missed the previous video, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the poly modeling tool, this guy right here. And you can see that we're in that room because of the modeling tab up here. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object, okay? So we're gonna to go to our menu overview here and we're gonna go up to 3D primitives because that's what we want. We're gonna click on it and it will give us these options up here. Now, the one that's uh, selected in this list is the one that is on the grid right now. And if I hold down my right mouse and pull on it, it will zoom in, right? So let's quickly cover the navigation. It's easy, left mouse, middle mouse, right mouse. Left mouse is orbiting around, middle mouse, click and hold is panning and right mouse hold and drag is zoom in and zoom out right that's how easy that is now this guy is selected if i click on the cube it will change to a cube if i click on the cylinder and so forth and so on right now there's one thing to keep in mind though as long as this color here is orange we haven't committed to this object just yet so basically we're still in the setup mode right we have a menu up here we have options that we can change and then we have the apply button. So if I'm not done with this and if I don't commit to it, it will disappear as I jump to another uh, menu, right? And I don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up. Now we've got this cube right here and what I can do is I can, uh, like I said, left mouse, I can uh, orbit, middle mouse, I can pan and then right mouse, I can zoom in and out, right? And then what I want to know is how can I move this, rotate this, and scale this? Well, we have the gizmo tool in the middle. And in the middle of the cube, we have that big cube. And if we left click on it and drag, we can uh, scale in or scale out, right? We can also grab one of the scale tools on one of the axes, right? So this cube right here will allow me to scale only in this direction or in this direction or in this direction, right? So that's scaling. Now, what about moving the arrows? Move it, move it, and move it. What about rotating? This guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay, so let's go back, Control Z, there you have it. So now we covered how to navigate, how to start off with a, a polygon object, which in this case is a cube. Uh, like I said, I haven't committed to it yet, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at these settings here. So what do I wanna do here? I want to, um, I don't know, let's say I want the division to be zero. So I don't want any subdivision level, right? Or I can go up and increase that with this slider. I can do that. I can change the position here manually. For example, this should be zero. So there you go. Now it's all zeroed out. I can change the size here if I want. If I want everything to be exactly square, I can just uh, go over it and change it to 10, 10, and 10. So I know for sure that's exactly square and then I can scale it up again. So that's how you do all of that, right? Now let's say I'm happy with the overall setup. I'm gonna go to apply. And when I do that, the color of the cube changes. So now it's kind of blue green, right? Or gray green, I don't know. Anyway, greenish. So now we have this, right? So now with all of that out of the way, a couple of things that are uh, done frequently is extruding faces and is um, beveling, right? Beveling edges and whatnot. So how do we select vertices, edges, and faces in 3D code? Uh, is that difficult? No, not at all. First of all, we're gonna to go to the select tool because we wanna select something. And as you can see, uh, 3D code is very, very intuitive. So I'm gonna click on select, and then I get this menu up here. It says auto, four dots, four lines, four squares, and then we've got some other stuff going on here, right? But let's look at these one first. Okay, auto. 
auto uh, auto select basically means wherever my mouse is closest to will be selected so right now it selects a vertex if I go to the middle it could select an edge but the reason why it's not doing that is because of the size of this selection circle right so if I right click and drag I will make that circle a lot bigger and now if I were in vertex mode I would basically select a whole bunch of them at the same time which is not what I want right so control Z to go back left click and drag to make that circle small enough so wherever I go it will select what I need there okay so in vertex mode I can go and select this one now the cool thing about 3d code is if I want to select another one I don't have to hold down shift I can just go in here and click on it I click on it click on it and so forth now let's say I want to select an edge I'm gonna go to the lines here and here I have one there's one there's one you get the idea okay let's go back how about faces and it's all again super intuitive so vertices edges faces I want this face this face but there are too many selected because of the range of the selection so if I want to deselect them I hold down the control key so deselect 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 if I want to reselect just click 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 pretty neat right okay so that's vertices edges and faces and auto mode like I said before if you're hovering over the object if I hover over just the vertex it will select the vertex if I go over here it's an edge if I go over here it's a face so kind of what your preference is right so what do we do from here let's say I want to bevel and I want to extrude well first of all if you want to bevel you need to select an edge so I'm gonna to go to edge right and let's select this edge right here with that selected I'm gonna to go to the left to the option where it says bevel when I click on that I get this menu up here once again I can uh, slide on the bevel size and it will become bigger as you can see here right and I can also change the number of segments so I can go to two and I can all just drag that up super super easy right and once you're happy with that you're just gonna click on OK and commit to it and as you do that the color changes again all right and then finally let's have a look at extruding okay now if you want to extrude something you have to select it first so we need to select uh, this face right here now that's the one I'm going to select so I'm going to click on it and because I have smart extrude on the left here selected I now have a selection and when I select that I have a whole bunch of tool options up here and the extrude mode right now is extrude faces I'll leave that alone but I have different mode tools here so I can go with multi extrude where I have a bunch of options. I'm gonna leave it at a very simple setup for now. Uh, we'll cover all of that in future videos. So with this, I can just go in here and pull and do a simple extrusion. And the cool thing is, as long as that is selected, I can just keep on going. Every face I select, I can just pull that out, and I can pull this out, and so forth and so on. Now, as long as I'm in this tool right now, uh, I need to keep in mind that instead of left mouse, middle mouse, right mouse for navigation, I now have to use the Alt key, right? Unless I am out of this setup here. So if I go to select, for example, right? I can now do what I did before. So when you're in the tool, you use an Alt. When you're not, you can just do this. And the cool thing is it's semi-transparent so I can look straight through it and I can see what's going on. So now you know how to navigate your workspace. You know how to select the vertices, edges and faces. You know how to bevel, you know how to extrude. So you should be able to get started, right? And the whole idea behind this series is I'm only going to explain the things you need to get started at that point in time. I'm not going to explain 75 different things because that will make you go nuts, right? And I don't want that. Okay, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.